Despite a flourishing career as a healthcare executive in Nashville, Wally Dant never forgot his roots back in rural Kentucky. An entrepreneur at heart, he started successful ventures in various segments of the beverage alcohol industry before selling those companies and moving back to Kentucky to open Log Still Bourbon Distillery. You know, what we found in 2019 when we bought the property was, you know, three or four buildings that were left over from the old distillery property. Uh, that were remaining standing, a couple of distillery ruins, and then the water tower, which you know my great grandfather built in the mid 30s. And so that water tower, you know, almost 90 years old now, um, was really kind of iconic for this area. And so we wanted to restore that as kind of the first thing that said, hey, we're kind of back in this business again, and the family's here, and the Dant cousins are ready to kind of move forward with a with a new brand. When he decided to get back in the bourbon business, Wally connected with his old friend, Jeff Hopmayer, founder of the Brindiamo Group, one of the largest bulk bourbon and whiskey suppliers in the world. So Jeff and I go back a, a number of years. Our, our older kids all went to high school together in, uh, in Brentwood, Tennessee. And Wally has built, um, has restored and built an amazing uh, world-class state-of-the-art distillery um, and I've been helping them and doing stuff and Brindiamo actually produces I think 10 or 12,000 barrels there right now. In addition to building the distillery, Wally has further developed the property into a new kind of destination for bourbon country. And when you go on distillery tours, a lot of times what happens is while you're doing the same thing over and over again, you know, people get tired of the same experience. And so we said, how do we, how do we change the dynamic there? And so, you know, being in Nashville for 22 years and seeing what that music industry has meant to the city of Nashville, you know, from a visitor and tour perspective, I thought, why can't we do the same thing here in rural Kentucky, in Gethsemane, Kentucky? Anchored by Log Still Distillery, the 300-acre campus is home to an event center, a functional train depot, bed and breakfast homes, and many other amenities that create an immersive experience for visitors. The event center that he has built there, I've never seen anything like it before anywhere. You know, the distillery is producing world-class juice, um, so it's, it's really an amazing place. And it's actually built on uh, what was the old family farm. And there are five houses that people can rent and stay in that are just gorgeous. Um, there's, there's, there's all kinds of great stories and big time history up there. Jeff and that whole team are great folks to work with. A and he provides a great, one, a, a, a simple way of doing business. And when you can do a simple way of doing business, people come back over and over and over again because he makes it so simple and easy to work with. And, uh, you know, and plus he's got a great personality. He's got a great team. Um, so I expect to be working with them for years to come.